Hi, I'm Randall Barney. We're here at the NAB show speaking with Teleport, Satellite, and Technology Providers about their customer solutions, and here's what they had to say. Well, we think that any kind of technologies that help customers in the growth markets get an edge will also help teleports like uh, Supreme Sats Teleport and Candy to get a competitive edge. And so the markets where we see growth potential are uh, markets like maritime, energy, cellular backhaul, uh, remote communications. And so the Candy Teleport will house the latest state-of-the-art equipment uh, at, from trusted vendors so that we can help provide these kinds of uh, VSAT applications and services in addition to providing access to the SupremeSat space segment and access to other satellites and fiber connectivity. Uh, specifically in the VSAT and maritime marketplace, a couple of the technologies that we think uh, will provide advantage. One is, um, is pay-as-you-go type VSAT hubs, pay-as-you-grow type hubs, so that uh, for a startup company, instead of having invest in a full infrastructure for a hub, it can uh, slowly grow and add remotes. Another uh, feature is the ability to uh, provide a, uh, networks on multiple frequencies, on multiple satellites through the same infrastructure that's shared. Um, having a robust network management system that's flexible and adaptable is important so we can provide uh, new kinds of services and uh, service offerings in the portfolio. Um, and, and, and for the mobile type of applications, we think that having uh, beam switching, technologies like beam switching capability and the ability to do tracking is also important. Um, we think that some of the new broadcasting standards uh, such and compression methods that are um, coming out are gonna be the key to uh, meeting demands of applications like HD in the region, uh, U, U ultra high def, and the huge data requirements that are, are uh, required as part of the modern connected world that we, we live in. So examples of these technologies include better compression algorithms, carrier and carrier technology, uh, advanced mod cards, and so we are keeping a close look at the uh, technologies like dvbs 2 x the NS3 type technology, because we think that has a, a huge potential to maximize the savings and throughput uh, over, over capacity via satellite. Um, and we think that that, that ha can have a major impact in the near, ter near term in operations today. In the longer term, we're also looking at the next generations. They're talking about the uh, DVB S3 and S4, for example, as new standards. So, those also, in the long term, we think have a lot of potential if the migration path to those new technologies and the capital expense to deploy them is reasonable and there's an easier, easy migration path. Our CTO thinks more can be done in the area of uh, merged video and data services over a single IP infrastructure. So we think that can ease, make teleport operations easier. It can also allow us to uh, offer a wider variety and a wider portfolio of services for businesses. Um, however, at the same time, these next generation systems, they have to be, uh, the CapEx cost has to be reasonable and has to be easy, easy enough to deploy. SupremeSat is a wholly owned subsidiary of SupremeSat Holdings which is a diversified company based in Sri Lanka. Uh, Supreme Sat, Sri Lanka's first communications satellite was a joint, is a jointly owned satellite that was launched in 2012. It provides services to the Middle East, parts of the Middle East, uh, Central Asia, South Asia, all the way to Australia. In 2013, Supreme Sat signed a contract for its first wholly owned satellite the Supreme Sat 2, and the company is focused on, on developing that satellite system uh, with the goal of becoming a major regional provider in the region as well as being a, becoming a hub, hubbing service provider through its teleport 
located in Kandy, Sri Lanka. Um, the Kandy teleport uh, is currently completing construction, so it should be oper become operational um, this quarter, towards the end of this quarter. It is offering services, such uh, a wide variety of services, from voice to video, to uh, command and control, TTNC services for several satellites. Uh, from its strategic location in Sri Lanka, it's able to see a wide number of satellites. So it, it has line of sight visibility from 12 degrees east to uh, 148 degrees east. And from that location also, it has diverse fiber access through multiple uh, undersea fiber cables that allow connectivity to the antennas, to the uplink, to the teleport from uh, major cities around the world. Uh, fiber uh, cables such as CMIWI 3, 4, and 5. The teleport houses an equipment room, business office space. It's a 10 acre secure facility with antennas from 2.4 meters in size to 13 meters in size. And another advantage in addition to the fiber access and the strategic location is the government of Sri Lanka is offering uh, SupremeSat some tax incentives that we're able to pass along to customers for potential savings.